The iPhone recently got a new hidden feature that not too many people are talking about and it's one that's huge and could actually save you some time if you're planning to get your phone repaired by Apple themselves or by an authorized Apple repair shop. This new feature or mod is deemed to be called repair state or repair mode which is the new mode that now your iPhone should be in when you're sending it forward to Apple for repairs or to a third party shop. It was recently introduced with the latest iOS 17 5.5 updates we saw it in beta 4 and going forward with the iphone if you're on ios 17.5 you'll be able to see this new feature so that means that you need an iphone that supports ios 17 which is the iphone xr going forward Fun fact, the iPhone is not the first product to get this new repair state as the Samsung Galaxy has a similar mode that's called maintenance mode, which is a state that Samsung Galaxy users put their devices in when they are sending them forward for repairs. So a quick fact about this new repair state mode is that in order for it to work, both your iPhone that you're going to stay behind with and the one that you're planning to send forward for repairs need to be on the latest iOS 17.5 version. Version. otherwise this is not going to work because this new feature came out with iOS 17.5 beta 4 going forward and even though I'm not on the latest or final version of iOS 17.5 you can see if I do go to the about and version I'm still on a beta version of iOS 17.5 so the way you find this repair state on your device, if you open up your Apple applications and then you open up Find My and go to your device menu right there, you can see this iPhone 13 that I have right here. If I swipe to the left on it, I have the option to delete it. If I click delete, because it's signed into my Apple ID and so on, it says cannot remove iPhone. However, it gives me the option to prepare this iPhone for repairs. And you notice it says this iPhone is linked to your Apple ID and cannot be removed while it's online, but you can still prepare it for repair. And then if you want to proceed further, you click where it says continue. So using my iphone 14 pro i can then send my iphone that's on ios 17.5 in this case this iphone 13 by putting it in repair mode as you can see and then this way i won't have to switch off other settings which i'll talk about shortly but in case you're curious if you have your iphone 14 and it's your only device that you want to send in for repair like you can see here it says iphone 14 pro and you swipe on it and by wanting to put it in repair state because this is the same device I want to put in repair state and it's the one that I'm using. When I click here, you notice it also gives us the option cannot remove iPhone, prepare this iPhone for repair state and it tells you again if you want to continue click next now there was an issue with this before where for some users if it was the same device that you're using and you want to send it in for repair it was not working for certain users in different countries but as of now at least in us and canada this issue seems to have been resolved this is kind of a huge deal for iPhone users and it's a first of its kind because if you've taken your iPhone for repairs to the Apple store before, one, they required you to turn off Find My in your settings of your device. So that's pretty easy to do if you know your iCloud ID and password, you can always turn off your Find My. However, due to the newly updated security feature of stolen device protection on the iPhone, iPhone users in unfamiliar location like Apple stores or third-party repair shops usually found themselves stranded or having to wait for that one hour period to expire in order to disable these settings such as passcode and your apple id and find my so you would end up losing that window because apple or repair shops usually give you a window in which you are supposed to check in but now with this new repair state or maintenance state that's available on the iphone you can now be able to not worry about this because as long as you unlock your device and go to find my and go to devices you can always click on the device that you want to send in for repairs and you can now put it in repair state this means that apple technicians will be able to confirm that the device or iphone you're trying to send in for repairs belong to you by not having to turn off find my which is a good thing and because of the newly updated stolen device protection you won't have to worry about being in unfamiliar location now this new feature has an unfortunate 
thing because it's only available on the iPhone at the time I'm recording this video. So hopefully with time we'll get to see it on other Apple products like the Mac and the iPad or hopefully with the Apple Watch pretty soon as well. Some interesting facts and questions I've seen on different forums and people posing is that one, since you are now no longer required to put the device that you're sending in for repairs to Apple's store or to whatever lab they send the device to, since the, your Find My is technically still on, does this mean that you can now log into your other device and go to Find My and see where Apple's secret lab that they are repairing the device is located? Never know. This happens to a lot of iPhone users where they send their device in, they turn off Find My. However, they forget to turn off their passcodes or to a certain security application. So we've seen this before where the repair technician unfortunately has to reach out to the end user to ask for their passcode or password in some cases for specific functions. So hopefully with this new repair state, that will be a practice that Apple or any Apple authorized third party dealer will not have to do anymore. A question I've seen posed online is that since technically, you know, your device will be unlocked and it's in this repair state, will Apple technicians be able to go in and see how many Apple products or devices that you have, like how many iPads, how many iPhones, or how many Apple Watch or MacBooks, or in general, how many Apple devices a person has when they put this new iPhone in repair state and send it forward to Apple for repairs. If you don't stay close to an Apple store or an authorized Apple repair shop, and when you want to get your iPhone repaired, you usually have to use a carrier like FedEx or Pureta, Canada Post or whatever, you beforehand, before sending your device in, you have to obviously disable your Find My and some passcodes. So now with this repair state, since that won't be a practice that's required because you can always just put your iPhone in repair state, but you still be able to use your Find My and your passcodes. Would this be a step in the positive direction to discourage those people that usually store iPhones from packets, which they knew didn't have a passcode on Apple ID while being sent forward for repairs? hopefully, and that will be a positive thing or a positive outcome. Also, since this is something that we don't technically see often from Apple doing, which is giving the end user the right to repair their device, it's something that they are slowly working into. And I feel like, you know, by doing this, it's a step in the positive direction. And it's one of the many changes, like they now have a website that you can buy parts for, and now you can put your iPhone in repair states using a simple method. So hopefully we get to see more implementations from Apple themselves that give the end user the ability and opportunity to repair their devices freely. That's the new feature that's here with the iPhone, which is called repair state. And remember that you have to update your device to the latest iOS version. At the time I'm recording this video, it has to be iOS 17.5 and newer. So you do need a newish iPhone. That's the iPhone XR going forward. And then when your device unfortunately needs repairs and you have to send it in, there's a newer and more convenient way to send it in without having to worry that if it gets lost in tracking or while being shipped, you won't be able to track it. And hopefully this new feature is one of many to come for the end user when it comes to repairability. So that's about it for me. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.